Hey guys, what's going on? Blake here, and I'm playing some Pokemon Heart Gold. Very strange for my channel because I don't play this game ever. So, I'm going to start doing like walkthroughs and stuff about this game, tips and tricks and all that fun stuff. So, it's going to be a little educational at the same time exciting. Um, I've already played like a good half hour of it. I did it so this way I could skip all the boring parts, you know, talking and stuff of that nature. It really wasn't interesting. Um, so now basically I'm on my own and I can roam and do whatever I wish. Um, not only what did I do it so I could skip the boring parts, but I kind of messed up the file and I had to start all over. And I didn't want to start like from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> so. Got my running shoes. I'm gonna go to Cherry Grove City after I check these houses. Uh, nothing interesting. So I'm playing Heart Gold instead of a newer one like black or white it's because white, I tried playing white and it was really messed up. Oh, look, it's my friend. The, like, it wouldn't level up my Pokemon, and I couldn't see my backpack or anything. And I like, go uh, Heart Gold. You can catch wild Pokemon with a Pokeball. I like Heart Gold because you can, um, have a Pokemon follow you. What's going on? They're jumping. They're playing in dirt. That was a Pokemon battle? Wow. And if my voice sounds a little too low, I'm sorry. I don't know why my microphone is being a little odd lately. What may I do? Marill. Marill. Ratata, use tackle. Ratatata. Okay, it's HP's down. It's ready for a Pokeball. And this is what I've been waiting for. I've been doing a half hour of like battling and stuff, and I haven't had any Pokeballs to use. It was really annoying. I didn't know when I was going to get them. Oh, and the Pokemon I chose for my adventure was Cyndaquil. Trust me, that was a difficult decision to make. I didn't know who to choose between Chikorita or Cyndaquil. Bratatata was cool. See, just like that. Oh, shit, did I? It's better to lower the, your target's HP more than I did. Or make it sleep. You can try all kinds of things. See that works. Blah blah blah. Ah, yes, Pokeballs. Put the Pokeballs in the pocket. And you can see the time of day changing. It's really cool. Oh, Pokemon battle. Already. I would capture him, but I don't like Rattatas. So I'm just going to. Okay. That's not good. Don't die, Mason Dequil. Don't die! Oh, I didn't realize his health was so low. Scared me. So I'm going to teach you a couple things really quick. And it's to do with um, status attacks. Like. Leer or smoke screen, which most people think are useless, definitely not. Um, first of all, if you want to check what a move does, you can do so by clicking Pokemon, your Pokemon, check moves, and click on them. So, Leer, the target's defense stat is reduced, or smoke screen reduces the foe's accuracy. So, I'm gonna go and go back. I'm gonna do Leer and lower the defense so my attacks do more damage. Hopefully, uh, he doesn't do a critical attack again. You can see how much damage I actually did. And it wasn't even a critical, because I would have said critical. It's only because I lowered the defense by so much. Although, I really need to get to a, um, Pokemon Center. I really wish I knew Cut.
Can I jump? I can't jump. I thought I could jump. Cherry Grove City. I need to go to a Pokemon Center. <laughs> so, I want to see if I could show you how do I, I train my Pokemon. Like, it's hard to train your other Pokemon when you want to train your main primary one, like Cyndaquil. But I found out how to train both of them. And this works in all games. Cause it's the perfect strategy. But it, it's a little um, tedious. So, if you really want to train them, I suggest doing this. It's good, especially when you have those days where you're like, you know what, I want to train all day. And I'm just going to check these houses really quick. Okay, and maybe I should talk to you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I do that a lot. I hit the A button so many times, I just talk to them over and over again. So, let's go to Route 30. See what we can do. Please don't be a Metapod. Please don't be a Metapod. Oh! Yay! Metapod! Just what I wanted. <sighs> These things are the most obnoxious Pokemon ever because all they do is harden, which increases their attack by so. I mean, their defense by so much. But they're really good, especially when you have um, Butterfree. So I'm going to capture it or try to. My only strategy for these guys is to keep attacking. If I were to use Leer, um, the first attack, it would have just raised its defense back to its normal thing because of Harden. So it would have been a wasted a move. And I, I'm deciding to do it now or I'll risk one more. Oh, that was a critical. I should have whatever. Hey, I leveled up. Did I learn a new move? Did I learn a move? Did I learn a new move? No? Okay. Ooh. How? Oh, that's the Mr. That's the Apricorn guy. Apricorn. He gave us the Apricorn court, uh, box. Caterpie. Do I want it? Yeah, why not? If I could capture, I'll capture it and I'll level it up. Um, I think it'll live through one more tackle attack. Oof. Drink shot lowers my speed. So, I'll basically dodge less. Which stinks. Bag, Pokeballs, Pokeball. And if you're a serious Pokemon player, you know you're supposed to press A and B. That's your capture in Pokemon. A and B, A and B, A and B. Awesome. You. Do you want to give it a nickname? No, I never give my Pokemon nicknames. But ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. Ooh, Pidgey. Um. Ah. Uh, Right now, I'm not. I'm not interested in capturing it. I really should, but I don't want to right now. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how I level up my Pokemon, and I do so by going to Pokemon. I take Caterpie or whatever Pokemon I want to train. I switch them with my first guy. Of course, I gotta make sure I heal it because it's about to die. This way, it goes into the battle first. And then what I do is... Oh, let me heal. Okay. What I do is when I get into a battle, I immediately switch the first Pokemon with an actual fighting Pokemon. So I'll switch my Caterpie with Cyndaquil and they'll both get the same amount of experience. Which is really good, especially when you have a really low Pokemon and you're fighting a really strong one. You get a lot of experience. So, level 4. I should get a good amount of experience. You should be able to level up. So, I'll switch. The only downfall to the strategy is my Cyndaquil is definitely going to get hurt if they attack. Because I won't be able to choose a move. Because 
switching was my move. I'm going to use tackle and see how he acts. Ah, uh, that's good. Tail whip. My defense fell. That's not good. Piece of cake. Now let's see. Caterpie gained 24, see? Cyndaquil gained 24. Although Caterpie did not evolve like I thought it would. Thought that would be enough. Hey, can I get your number? No. Ugh. I knew that was going to happen. That's good. I get to level up my Pokemon. My Caterpie. Soon it'll be a beautiful butter up uh, Metapod. Then a Butterfree. Which is what I want. So I'd switch you for Cyndaquil. Although I. Th no, no, never mind. Change my mind. <laughs> Tackle. It's only level 2. It won't be that hard to kill. Look at that. Or KO. We already know they die. Kind of. Not really. KO. Oh, you have a second Pokemon. Switch my Pokemon. I want Caterpie. This way I can get more experience. Oh, and you're about to level up, Caterpie. That Metapod was a level 4, so you should level up right now. Or after this battle. Uh, tackle. Tail. Ooh. Quick attack. Hopefully you don't die, because... Oof. Live. Live. Okay, you're good. Tackle. This is... Oh, I go. I went first that time. Definitely got that. Peace. Ow! That sucked. Caterpie grew to level 4. Yay! Caterpie. Ow. Oh, huh. I went to move my leg and I ripped the earphones out of my ears and it hurt so much. I do that a lot and it really, really sucks. Huh, I didn't level up. Trainer tips, no stealing other people's spoke. Uh, I think my money is going to my mom and I really don't like that. Probably gonna have to fix that between these two episodes. I don't wanna fight. Especially if it's a Pokemon I already have. Ah. Oh, another tip. You can only run away from Pokemon that are weaker than you. I'm pretty sure you can't run away from someone who's stronger than you. Pokey tip number one. Route 31. Oh my god. Dark cave, if Pokemon can light it up, explore it. Hate the dark cave. Oh, I must have walked right in front of me. Well guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna wrap it up right there. Um, next episode, hopefully I can get some stuff done. I don't know what's going to happen. But um, in between this episode and the next, I'm going to run all the way back to my house. Talk to my mother. Tell her I don't want her to take my money. Because it's annoying. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.